What's up, YouTube? It's Little T with Techaholics. Back at again with another video. In this video, I'm be showing you how to cast your phone screen to your Xbox One without any Wi-Fi hotspot. So let's get it in. Alright, so first things first, before I even get this started, I want to go ahead and thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel and that has made this past year possible. Yes, I haven't posted that many videos and I've been going through a lot like in my personal life, but um, you know, I've been doing as much as I can and everything that I can for you guys. So I just want to say thank you so much for continued to support this channel. It is nothing without y'all and I hope that y'all have an amazing and happy new year. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. My phone is not connected to any Wi-Fi, as you can tell right here. This isn't connected at all. And as you can tell, my Xbox One is connected through my Smart View application. And it is running off mobile data. Where is it at? It is right there. All right, so, and I can go ahead and go into my Wi-Fi setting, and as you can tell, there's no Wi-Fi connected, no connection. All right, so, I'm gonna show y'all first that this does work, and then I'm gonna show y'all how to get it set up. So, if you want to, you can go ahead and you can um, go into an application like Mobdro, and you can watch anything that you want to. So I'll go ahead and I'll pull up something. Show y'all that it is working. Might take a second because I don't have good reception here. All right, so you can tell that's working. Go ahead and back out. Go ahead and go to movie application. See that that's working and you get your full screen on your TV if you flip your phone sideways. So you can tell it is working on my phone and it's working on the screen. All right. So if I wanted to, I could be able to watch any movie that I want to. Go ahead and pull up Joker. Try to get that to play really quick. Alright, so we got something pulled up. Might take a second because like I said, I don't have a good reception here. But let's check and see what it does. Looks like it is not going to play just because I have that two bars of data connection. So, yeah. But it should work, so you already know that. Go ahead and go to YouTube. Gotta pull up my channel. Play something from it. Play this. All right, so as you can tell, it is playing YouTube videos on it. So basically anything that you do on your phone, you can do it on your Xbox now without Wi-Fi. So, let me go ahead and let me pull up a game. I know that y'all like playing Call of Duty Mobile. I'm gonna pull up Call of Duty Mobile. See that that's playing really smoothly. And yes, it does depend on the data connection, I would say. So if you're in a good area, like where you do have a good connection, it should run just fine. So as you can tell, everything's running pretty smooth.
there you go go ahead and search for a game whatever you want to do it is not easy trying to do this with one hand go to back sorry guys trying to do this with one hand there you go everything that's on my screen is now on the xbox screen so you easily connect your xbox controller and go ahead and play a game or two or how many that you want to play and now you can actually do it through your xbox so you would be able to basically cr make it a chromecast or a fire tv stick just by using this method and your phone so let me go ahead and let me show y'all how to do this all right so on your xbox side you want to go ahead and you want to go over to store go down to where it says applications or apps you want to go over to the little search icon you want to look up screen uh, no wireless display it might not pop up at first but you just have to finish it out so you gotta look for the L E S S display and there it goes so once whenever you pull this up you want to go ahead and you want to install it and once whenever it's installed you want to go ahead and go to your Android device or the phone that you'll be using so once whenever you do that you want to go ahead and go to Play Store and you want to open up and search for an application called Screencast. Scroll down till you see an application that looks just like this. Go ahead and open it. So once whenever it's open, you can go ahead and you can see that it, it, it'll say some Android devices do not support Screencast, which that is true and some devices do but this will help you like find it a lot quicker because sometimes in the settings it doesn't help you out like on my phone I have the Galaxy S9 Plus you can see that it has the screen mirroring or the smart view right here so most devices won't have that and you can even go into settings go to search and then look up screencast wireless display whatever 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 you need to look up it should be on there and and most of the devices it's actually not in the front screen so you do have to have an application that can find it in your device so if you have any questions or any comments go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment selection and as always thanks for watching like and subscribe